channel. Um, I'm actually about to be starting my day because I go into work tonight. I've just woken up not that long ago, um, took a little nap. Then I went and cleaned out my machine so I could start sewing this week. Yeah, it's currently 8.40 and I need to start getting dressed and getting the little man to the bed so I can get ready to go to work. I'm gonna catch y'all when I get done getting dressed. All right, y'all, so I just made it here to work. It is such a hassle trying to get my child to go to sleep. I promise y'all. I had to run to the gas station and give me some iced coffee because y'all, uh, breaking sleep is no joke. I told myself I was gonna cut loose on drinking iced coffee. I think I told y'all that in one of my videos, but it's hard, especially now since working this job. I gotta have something to keep me up and like moving. If I could find something else, like a different supplement or whatever to kind of help me get that boost of energy besides caffeine. If y'all know anything, y'all got some recommendations, y'all please let me know. So it is currently almost 1 p.m. And your girl is tired. I'm about to go on and take me a nap. As you guys saw, I did go and start working on a project. I'm going to give y'all a little more detail about that in a little bit. I also was filming for Instagram and TikTok. If y'all not following me over there, what is y'all doing? I'm going to leave that right here down below. Go on ahead and follow me. So, But yes, I am going to take a nap. It's been a productive morning. <laughs> so I could say that, pat myself on the back. What I can say is that um, I like the fact of getting things done during the day and be able to work at night. Uh, but since I've been working, y'all, like my sleep schedule has just been off the chain. As a designer, if I got to do some things for people or whatever like that, every day is different so my sleep pattern is different so i'm trying to work better on that also i'm just trying to try, take more pride in myself and get the rest that i need so i'm gonna catch y'all when i wake back up mount things so i won't have to do this but i'm just now um coming from the library i had to print off some shipping labels thank you guys by the way for shopping with me on my depop i'm gonna leave that link down below as well i got some old some old cute shit on there y'all go and check it out and it's discounted y'all can't go wrong so to catch you guys up to speed um so far on that top the shirt that i'm doing um the last thing I did was the sleeves. Um, I'm glad I'm at a good pace with it, but I'm on a bit of a time crunch at the same time. Now what I'm gonna do is finish getting these orders uh, packed up and um, get that shipped. Then I need to eat. <laughs> I'm starving now and uh, I need to lay down. I'm glad I, I got enough energy to kind of get through all what i did to this morning so i'm glad about that and i was glad to, that y'all was able to see that so but yeah i will see y'all 
at some point. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna sit up here and just lie to y'all and say that I was gonna intend to eat and just go lay down. Clearly, I ain't laid down yet. I'm up here filming content. <laughs> I'm trying to get as much content as I can, especially when I don't have my son and I got some little ample free time. So I try to take some type of advantage. So I'm sorry. I'm an Aries. We 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 just like that. But I did just get done filming um some Instagram reels that I'm gonna do and TikTok. So I'm going to change and for real, for real, I'm going to lay my ass down. <laughs> Just tapping into each other. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't really record too much today because I really wasn't doing much besides just doing homework. And I feel like who wants to see somebody doing homework? That's that's boring. I feel like I should tell y'all my little secret. <laughs> so I am going to be in Chicago Fashion Week next month, y'all. Oh, I am so excited and nervous and that's why i've been <clears throat> work y'all been seeing little clips of me sewing because this is going to be for this show coming up and y'all i'm trying to fucking deliver i had to sit up here and park just so i could sit up here and be transparent with y'all so a few weeks back i had came across this little ad on instagram um it was for you know all these little fashion weeks is going on so i came across one with chicago fashion week and you know i just randomly was click like clicked on it i believe it was just a, to register so i did that and um didn't hear back for probably about another week or so during this time I wasn't working I was really just it was I had my moments where I was just in tears it was times where if you see like certain days I was posting and you at one point you weren't seeing me posting life be life and I'll tell you this particular day um, this man we gonna call him Jay so Mr. J, he messaged me and um, was like hey this is Mr. J from fashion bar in Chicago I love your work. I came, I'm looking at your page and I love your content and I really want to, um, I would love for you to showcase in my event in October. Before even responding, my ass, I don't know about y'all, but I'm the type of person, certain things, I be getting all kind of little scam DMs and shit like that. And so I uh, went on to the actual page and looked him up and then looked at the actual um, place, fashion bar and everything like that. I looked at everything and I'm like, damn, okay. Now it's clicking to me. Now I'm looking at this, I'm looking at his page, I'm looking at everything and I'm reading back at his message and I'm like, yeah, um, yeah, I'd be interested. And then so he had um, messaged me again and was like, well, what's your telephone number? Uh, I can give you a call this week and we can follow up such and such. So I gave him my number and he said, thank you, whatever. And he said, I'll be looking forward to talking to you soon. So I said, okay. The following day, this man calls me and um, introduces himself to me, tells me, gave me the whole rundown about the show and everything. It told me all the, the, the perks and and the deposit, how much I had to put down, everything. He's telling me everything. He was just like, I really love your work. Tell me, tell me more about you. What like, what do you all, what do you do? And woo woo. So at that moment, <laughs> I, um, I almost got a little bit teary. I'm not even going to lie because I was just like, Lord, what is happening right now? I just hit my pitch just like that real quick. And he was just like, yes. Long story short, I am finna be at Chicago Fashion Week, y'all. Oh my God. 
sometimes I let my fear really hold me back to so many other opportunities. But when I got off the phone with that man, all I could do was say, thank you, Jesus, because this is what I've been wanting for a very long time. And at first I used to think like, man, this ain't for me. Like, I'm not getting nowhere with this. This is not, this is not me. But God been showing me otherwise, y'all. Yo, I don't know what God got in store for me after with this show, but all I could say is like, God is so good because I promise y'all, it was times where I really just felt like giving up. So I wanted to give up so many times. Like, what the fuck am I telling? I wanted to give up so many times and like dealing with bullshit in my life the only thing my heart just gravitated gravitated towards was sewing just creating that keeps me at peace it teaches me patience it teaches me guidance it teaches me if i make a mistake go on and fix it do it over again sewing to me creating is like I can't go without and when I know when I haven't done it and that's just because I'm procrastinating or I'm not motivated it's like I'm scared I'm happy but I'm scared kind of because I know this is God just talking to me he's letting me know and reminding me that I can do this and that I'm going to be okay. My son is going to be okay. We go get the hell up out of him. Y'all like the things that I make, it's just like, I don't belong here. But I know again, it all takes patience. I'm so grateful for being in this position right now in my life like i'm praying for more i'm reaching for more and i'm i'm practicing being more disciplined with god and myself Whew. god is good god is truly good and another thing Why did my manager come up to me yesterday? No, Friday. Came up to me Friday. Asked me if I want to be a co-operator. They want to promote me, y'all. Whatever you got going on, put God first. Talk with him. Put your trust in him. He's got you. He loves you. He is listening. He hears you for real i'm gonna end it right here y'all that was just my little rundown that's just my testimony <laughs> i got some new subscribers i got 80 subscribers hey y'all y'all are joining the family this is my space to vent and also like show y'all my life as a designer <laughs> but this is my, my space. I thank y'all so much for just tuning in with me. Don't forget to hit the like and share button. Subscribe to me. Y'all gonna, oh Lord, y'all. We're gonna be doing a lot of sewing. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video. Peace.